Hello, everybody. Today we are going to talk about the hydraulic powers. When we talk about the flood, the disaster, water everywhere, we know that we have seen the blackout for three and a half days in 2012. If this is a case with this country, which is more advanced, so how about the other countries of the globe? For that, the small solution what we have come up with is fixing the turbines in the riverbeds. And for that, we will be using the St. Vernant equations. What does the St. Vernant equation talks about? It talks about the bed slopes, the river flow, with which we get the kinetic energy, and then the slopes, which we talk about, reducing the speed, and the amount of water, and the weight, everything we are going to calculate it. It's a small device which we have to fix it at the lower level of the riverbed. With this, we will be able to produce 12 kilowatts of electricity per day with one unit. For example, with us, with, for each home, we require close to about 30 kilowatts with all our luxuries. The electricity, the heaters, the fridge, the fan, blah, 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 with the lights and everything. When it comes to the disasters, when it comes to the needs, there's no luxury. There is a need which, is, which has to be met. For that, we require minimum between 8 kilowatts to 12 kilowatts, with which we can sustain with, uh, with a fan, the electricity that is with the bulbs, the refrigerator, and the medical equipments where we have a backup for. So what we have plans is we have the places and the, uh, and the points with the maps where we are going to see that where we have to plant these turbines and how we can generate the electricity so that nobody goes blackout. Not only in this country, across the globe. And moreover, the investment for this turbine is only $5,000 if it comes to the manufacturing end. It's a one-time investment and it's a low maintenance. So we request the government to go ahead and do that and now my colleague will take over. Thank you. Uh, so you know what my, what my our project is about. So the important part now is the two parts. So where we are having the floods and where how the terrain of that area is. So we are gathering the data sets from two government websites one is from the Missouri right now we are targeting that area because that's facing right now the floods and everything and we are uh, getting t uh, terrain data so if you see right so these out of these the black dots they there if you see the red dots here where we can place the turbines so by placing the turbines over there we will get maximum throughput from the electricity so and as these turbines are portable we can automatically remove that debt from them and we can place it to somewhere else which will be proving useful for governments to transport the turbines from here and there which is cost efficient thing Thank you. Okay. 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 hey so i'd love to see you guys check out uh, the national weather service just operationalized as of August of last year, the national water model. Um, it takes data from 2.2 million points as opposed to the previous estimates of like 4,000 points. Um, and it does a really, really great job of uh, predictively telling you where water is going to be when and how much. Um, awesome tool for flood prediction. Um, I could go on and on about that product, but I think this is a really cool application for you because it could give you a really great estimate of how much volume of water is coming downstream. Right. And it might even help you provide a, a little bit of a, a predictive estimate of the amount of power you could generate. That's correct. We take up the real-time estimations and then we see, and with the weather management and the weather companies, where they give us the details before 48 to 72 hours. So we know how to take it forward. Yeah, so uh, check out the National Water Model. There's a 48-hour rolling store of live data, of real-time data is available online right now. Yes. Um, if I am successful in what I hope to do, then there will be a lot more of that. But yes. um, yeah, I, I think it's a cool application for you guys. Uh, but I, I love the low cost of hardware. Yes. $5,000 for you. power generation is awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, go ahead. Um, 
I just, uh, yeah, I'm really intrigued about the, the turbine design that you talked about. Um, and, you know, is, do you have like a, 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 design, a sketch or, or any kind of oh prototype yes, in mind do. for yes, what it would be do. like? We yeah, do. that'd be great we to do. see. Yes, it's a small portable device. Okay. So does it exist already? No. It does, it oh, does, okay. it does. It does exist, but it requires a lot of, lot of work to take it forward. Okay. Because now what they're saying is that, uh, you know, how is that, which are the points we are going to get it, and then what is the cost which we have to invest on it, and nobody has worked out with the government projects yet. It's an upcoming project. Okay. So, so it exists already, and, and your product will basically help identify various locations based on flood exactly. where to put it. Right. Exactly. Got it. That's, That's right. great. That's right. Um, since it does, it does exist, it, you said it's not been deployed yet, so it's exactly. not currently in use? The okay. Canadian government, they have invented this project, but yeah. I don't know for what reason they don't want to take it further, but definitely if we make a couple of changes, like what we want to do it with the applications, I'm sure that with these kind of applications, if, you are going to, if they could produce 12, 12 volts, but we are targeting up to 28 volts for that, mm -hmm. with a new application process. Okay. So, Okay. That's so you're you're providing a means for understanding like how to deploy it. And yeah. That's correct. Making it so that they can they can also fast track it to also usage. the point where we can deploy it so that it's simple for a common person or the government people to understand. It. Okay. Very cool. Great. Thank you. That's awesome because it, it you know requires very like you don't have to build something else. It's already existing. That's correct. And um, you're basically finding information that will help make it more efficient and, and more productive so that's great yeah did you get that bomb from uh from it's like a, a government website or which the, the cost of the unit the the, no, no, the bomb bought it from the company you did it's okay. the company cost us the retail price is twelve thousand five hundred if we make it with our inverters that's going to cost us four thousand nine hundred four thousand nine hundred and ninety seven dollars and sixty cents so you know, we should be able to make it. But the inverters, what we are going to make it, that's going to be different than them. Okay. Because they will be able to make only 12 volts, 12 kilowatt per day. But with our inverters, with the energies and the equations, what we are going to use it, we should be able to get close to about 28 kilowatt per day. So, yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.